In this video, you'll learn how to effectively clean up and optimize your workspace successfully. Before we begin, we encourage you to follow along in your own workspace to help you learn how to perform audits and clean up clutter so you can have the best ClickUp experience possible. Admins play a critical role when it comes to optimizing your workspace for success. If a workspace isn't maintained and cleaned periodically, you run the risk of a poor user experience for your teams who are interacting in ClickUp. In order to effectively clean up and optimize your workspace, you'll need to prepare and communicate about the cleanup, conduct an audit to assess your workspace and identify clutter, ensure proper permissions are established, clean up and delete items, and create processes for effective maintenance. Auditing your ClickUp workspace will help you eliminate any inactive, duplicate, redundant, and outdated items. That ultimately leads to better data hygiene and an optimized workspace. As an admin, it's important to set aside time to manage and clean up your workspace periodically. Before you begin, it's important to prepare for this task. Determine who will be taking on this responsibility, whether this will be you alone or with other admins at your company. Ensure that whoever is taking on this task has adequate permissions, specifically the ability to delete items and manage private spaces. Communicate with your team about the upcoming cleanup, including specific details such as timelines, what will be done, and instructions on how team members can report any duplication or errors they find within the workspace. The first thing to do when auditing your workspace is to identify clutter, starting with spaces. As a good first activity, go to Space Settings for Admins, and you'll see a list of all spaces in your workspace, including all active, archived, and inaccessible spaces. Review these spaces and identify which ones aren't being utilized anymore. Specifically, when it comes to inaccessible spaces, these are private spaces that were made inaccessible for various reasons. If any spaces are not being utilized or inaccessible, you can choose to delete the space or transfer ownership. In each space in the sidebar, expand them and look for anything out of place or anything that could have been created by mistake. Review the folders and list names, click into them to review all tasks associated with them. And if you notice anything duplicate or similarly titled, take a deeper look by reviewing the tasks themselves. You can add a comment to clarify if the task is active. Next, audit the workspace users under the People settings. Review the users listed under the Full Members, External Guests, and Internal Guests. From here, you can review any pending invitations and remove any that aren't needed anymore along with removing team members that have left your organization. You can also visit the Guests tab to review all invited and participating guests. Remove any that are no longer collaborating with your team. Once you've reviewed and removed members and guests that no longer need to be in your workspace, let's move on to security and permissions to ensure the right roles have the appropriate permissions. Scroll through the Custom Permissions section to see what each role, as well as any custom roles, are able to do. For example, this custom role does not need to have the permission to create custom fields, create spaces, or create views. If you find that members have more access than they should, go ahead and update the default permissions here. When performing workspace cleanup, one notable permission to keep in mind is the Delete Item permission. As a best practice, Give all members, admins, and any custom roles the ability to delete items only if they created them. On the same settings page, review if there are any custom roles created that are not being used anymore, especially if the role isn't assigned to any member. Another thing to audit is your custom fields. Let's start by going to the custom field manager. First, review the locations on the left and ensure the correct custom fields are being used as intended. Scan the fields or use search to find duplicates. These fields may have been set up incorrectly and they can be converted, moved, or merged.
When reviewing custom fields, you can update the permissions of each individual custom field. For example, you can make it private and share it with specific people or teams. Next, review templates. Go to the Template Center and audit the template usage count and when it was last updated. You can consider deleting templates that haven't been updated for a while or were never used. Review workspace templates and ensure quality standards. Reach out to the template owners if you need to inquire about it or delete it. The last area to audit is automations. Go to any automation, then click through locations at the top left to see any and all active automations at the location. Review the automation and identify which ones needs to be changed or removed. Once your audit is completed and you've reviewed everything, prepare a report of your findings in a doc with a summary of what you audited, your recommendations, any open items that you need more help with, and plan of action for each location and task. Share your findings with your team by creating a task and assigning it to them. Set a due date, allowing ample time for team members to relocate their work or contact an admin with any questions or concerns. Encourage your team to review the recommended actions from your assessment report. Now that your audit is completed and you have a plan to eliminate clutter in your workspace, it's time to take action and clean up. Execute your recommendations based on your audit report. Move any misplaced items or folders, or delete and archive them as needed. In ClickUp, deleting an item sends it to the trash, where it can be restored for 30 days before being permanently deleted. After that, the deleted items are gone for good. Archiving an item hides it from view without permanently deleting it, allowing you to restore it later if needed. This is useful for keeping your workspace clean without losing important data. You've now completed the workspace cleanup and everything looks great. Because you've done all this work and you want to keep your workspace as optimized as possible, consider establishing these maintenance activities. Schedule regular workspace audits throughout the year, and document the audit and cleanup process. Delegate process owners or team leads to keep their locations clean. Create a standard operating procedure or wiki, describing the standards set by your organization on how work should be structured, such as the hierarchy, project naming conventions, any best practices for creating and maintaining work, and frequently asked questions, empowering team members to contact admins to ask questions as needed. By regularly doing these maintenance activities, you can keep your workspace optimized. In this course, you've learned how to prepare for the workspace cleanup, conduct an extensive audit of what needs to be updated, then perform the decluttering process. You also learned some great tips for maintaining your workspace. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try these workspace optimization tips in your own workspace today.